we had to uh, extract you because you were too busy watching Smurfs 2 over nah, and over I again. To, I had to, you know, Smurfs 2 is a classic, <laughs> man. It's an instant classic, I man. I can't believe Smurfette, it. Smurfette, man. She almost turned on. Classic story of your whole turning <laughs> on you, man. Smurfette tried to, you know what I mean, turn on. But but she stayed down though, you know what I mean. I, I, I don't know. Is, is it bad for me to always want to hit Smurfette? Like I always wanted to smash her. I when always I, was young. Like, I did. She had the blonde, long blonde yeah. hair. She was kind of sexy. That's crazy, man. You know, Papa I knew Smurf I wasn't was the only one. Shit. Yeah, so somebody, all them Smurfs. <laughs> think somebody got a gang bang out of something, man. Somebody <laughs> yeah, had to run a train on Smurfette. That mushroom crib was out of here. Of gang banging like crazy in there, son. <laughs> You know Papa Smurf old and horny. You know he's like a scheming. That's niggas, wanted, I, niggas wanted Smurfette. Because you are the, like the king of the women. Like, can you give us a quick I am one? not the king of the women. Well, you, I'm not owning that title. <laughs> That's so ever. Well, you, you're an expert in understanding females in your music. Let's, let, let, let's uh, say it that way. Yeah. So it, this, is the two, this is 2013. Can you explain to me the difference between a 2008 chick and a 2013 chick because you gotta do you have to rewrite like your whole swag and music like nah, that's one thing though they just graduate a little bit you know what i mean they mm. they they get a little older they get a little more mature but women you know pretty much want the same shit you know what i mean they they want you know they want trust they want love and they you that, know that, they, that hasn't changed that, yeah though so you know and one thing that you can always win with whether it's 2008 or 2013 is a compliment you know mm. all women love compliments some of them might take them and be like oh you just trying to get in my <laughs> pants like you know what i'm saying but some but at the same time they they love it too so you know i think you know it's, there's a couple ways that you're going to always you know uh relate to a woman you know what I'm saying especially mm. musically and then there's you know there's a couple changes that's going to be there's a couple different you know various women who you know handle things you know just like there's always a girl who like i ain't i ain't i ain't like these other girls looking for you know feelings on like you know they act like they the dude in a relationship mm. like i ain't catching no feelings on <laughs> fuck like, you nigga mm, whatever yeah, man. whatever fuck out of it. you trey songs chris brown like mm. you guys kind of like analyze what females like to hear that's why I, I gave you nah, the those expert. guys are just R and B R and B, what's yeah. the name? So they can pull off their shirt and sing to them and then they <laughs> me, you know, I just gotta like, you know, find a, a, a ill way with words to rap and rhyme and, yeah. and they can they can relate to it and, and you know and and you know, they could always and then there's you know, even down to like Drake, you know, Drake makes a lot of female mm. friendly music and you know, he taps into maybe a little deeper and goes maybe like how they feeling or what they're you know how, what they thinking about and you know when they get drunk the, the you know i mean the, the marvin's room was about you know getting drunk and calling those are situations that happen more and you know with with females and you know guys who 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 have girlfriends and you know what i'm saying somebody before was like yo he makes that music that when you drunk and want to we want to stalk your ex-girlfriend like you know what i mean he, <laughs> <laughs> he, he 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 taps into those things, you know what I mean? That might not be him, but he knows how to make the music that relates. Yeah, yeah. I mean, th but that that's why and it, you were always like this, even back in the days, or you had to, like, link up with R&B artists to understand. Like, are, you've always nah. been like, yo, because you, you, you kill shit. You, mm -hmm. you do the hard shit 100% mm -hmm. all the way. Like, you balanced out both shit. This is hard for even a rap artist to do. Yeah, it, you know it, it is. It's, it's because it's like if you... If you this way, like, how can you say still like I'm mm. I'm one of the few guys that's have had success in different lanes of that. Like, it's hard for certain rappers to do to be savvy enough to be, you know, on a street kind of joint and then still be, you know, smooth enough for them to listen to on on that kind of side. And, then you know, it's 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 a balance. I think it's, uh you know, it comes with the territory that I'm in, you know, my 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 songs that I've done throughout my career, mm. you know, you know, just being able to relate to them and then also being able to relate to the streets too, because that's where I come from. That's where I, I come from a housing project. I'm not from, you know, I'm not from a, a, <laughs> from a like Long Island, of, nigga. Uh, yeah, I'm not from the suburbs <laughs> of Westchester and, and like, you know, I, 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 that element is in my music because that's what I grew up on. You know what I'm saying? So. And then the full 360, like you gotta have fashion, you gotta have swag. And right. of course, you know, Chicks gotta love you too. Like yeah. they, you can't be. I mean, yeah. you know, Biggie kind of like. Chicks gotta fuck with you. Yeah. Chicks, you know, but it's also that relation. You know what I mean? Biggie wasn't. 
you he know the hot rob yeah. yeah he wasn't you know he wasn't <laughs> bitch wasn't dropping out like oh my god biggie's so gorgeous <laughs> you know but he would know what the right things to say to a woman you know mm. what i'm saying and that's how sometimes you know there's some guys who are funny and they can make a chick laugh and you know that's where i come in, in yeah. yeah give me that pussy you know what I mean? <laughs> yo let, let's play with these bitches we'll be right <laughs> back <man. laughs> give me that pussy <laughs> <laughs> give us the exact title but the new album the that's new coming album out. The new album is called Loso's Way 2. Yeah. Um, it has some subtitles on there called Rise to Power and Celebrate Life, which what I'm going to do is like kind of separate the album into two kind of feelings oh, that man. I want to do. So, you know, I'm doing that with the project and still just finishing that up. But, um, you know, the album is, is, is pretty much wrapped. I'm just, you know, putting last little touches on it. I'm even, you know, if people come with last little joints and records, you know, yeah, I mean, I know. I was pretty the, much just let, yeah. Ooh, I was yeah, the you studio, was there. You heard, kid. I was you heard, going you heard crazy. Some vibes, yeah. <laughs> You heard some vibes in there, you know what I'm saying? But I, I, I'm a type of person that just works all the way to I got to walk into the building and give it to them because you okay. never know. You know, I've seen, you know, a record happen two nights before you had to turn your record in, you know, literally two nights. Like, you're like, yo, this has to make the album, like, you know what I'm saying? So I'll work all the way until I got to walk in the door, you know what I'm saying? So, you don't play, but you were there until, you know, like, it was like 8 in the morning. I was like, God damn, yeah. there's no time limit here? You know who got me on that? Me <laughs> Meek, man. Meek. Meek go well, in. Meek will be like and then like till ten, eleven in the morning. Meek I'm like, doesn't <laughs> leave the studio till daybreak, man. Like it's be l people's lunch breaks, and you coming out the studio, being like yo, man, he has me on, and, and then I was on it for like you know two weeks straight, like you know what I'm saying. So I wasn't, I'm sleeping like you know a couple hours during the day, get right back up, but do the same thing. I don't know how you guys do that shit, man. But it's, I mean, it's the sacrifice, man. You want to make great music, mm. you want to, you know, you want to put your all into what your craft is, and I think you know, uh, the guys who do that. Uh, you know, not saying you have to do it at those hours, but yeah. the guys who put, you know, that effort into their craft, you know, they make, you know, they they usually turn out successful. I see you on a cover of Double XL. Is that a special edition? I seen or? some special. I haven't seen it though. Yeah, uh, yeah you on they, the cover they, again, son. Damn. I need, that. I need my own real cover though. Double XL. You on a Dolo though? It's not you and other. It's you Dolo. I know, but I think it's some kind of special, like you said. Oh. I want the. I don't want to be the special. <laughs> <laughs> I want the official, and, and that's it. And, and you know, but I, I accept the special now. Thank you, Vanessa. But we got to work on that official original. Uh, you so you're one of the artists that work with Jay. You know, he respects your music, and mm -hmm. you have you have kind of like you know you have done kind. Of, there's been leaks, like especially when the money goes. I yeah. played that. Like you've worked with him before. Will, will uh -huh. you be working with him in the future? Uh, he seems to be working with all the. You know the young cats out there. Yeah, I mean, well, I'm. You know, I guess I out of the lane of the young cats, but I think yeah. you know what he's done doing as far as work, working with some of the young cats is you know keeping yourself in the relevancy of the guys who are coming up, and you know, I guess guys that he respects in the, in that music in in the game. You know what I'm saying? Is it a Brooklyn connection, or he just respects you? I, all would, I would. We just we just grew into having a you know I mean a cool friendship. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, over time, you know, it was times that me and Jay didn't really even speak like that. So oh, that's how you know. You, yeah, it was. I, I I can remember a time of me being in the elevator with Jay and inside the elevator we had no words. You know, Get out of here. Is that so now the old, the old Def Jam building? Like the old Def Jam nah, building? Nah, I think this was like in Chelsea Piers, like nah. at the gym or something. Yeah, like, you know, you we didn't Clue, have a conversation. You weren't Clue used to fuck with Clue Jay? Clue was cool. With, yeah, that was when Clue was like signed to Rockefeller. Like, you know what I'm saying? And y'all didn't even fucking like lick yeah, That's we crazy. Didn't have, we didn't really have any kind of, and I think it was a little bit of the Brooklyn in us. You know, we both had that, you know, I don't know you, nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you don't know me, I don't know you. So, you know, I, you know, I came in, you know, respectful at the same time, but mm. still just not, you know, I'm not jumping out the window and just, you know, you know, doing what I had a lot of respect for and was a fan of the music and everything. We have spoke on other terms, but, you know, um, you know, I think now it's just grew into a friendship and, you know, just respecting each other and, you know, seeing each other. We're from the same city. So we. Uh, you know, Fucking sometimes Jay, up in man. the same circle, man. Jay's doing well, man. Fucking guy, man. <laughs> That's an understatement. Jay's doing well. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like he, um, he definitely has. Um... <laughs> yeah, it's like some moisture walking by. You saw that ass, fam? Nah, I didn't see. No, it. No, didn't see it. But I, I saw anything. it though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jay's pulling moves though right now, man. Yeah, Did yeah, you yeah, see let's the? Get out uh, of that. You see? Yeah, let's go. Let's get, get right off of that that topic right there. <laughs> What I did see is your, your ass is in helicopters now, nigga. I see oh, you I took the helicopter. Pay, like, what uh, the fuck, Sandro man? Pay, man. I took, I took the helicopter over there, man. I heard it's, I had to beat traffic. They said the traffic is like an hour and <laughs> takes like, make you take like two hours. They said the helicopter was 15 minutes, man. What Damn, you gonna, nigga, what you, you a gonna spoiled do? nigga, man. Come on, man. I'm going to take the helicopter and beat the two hours. You kid, I can't, I mean, what I'm, 
What you want me to do? I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do it. You got uh, the, the Illuminati trying to get you out of here. I got some quick questions, though. Uh, 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 two chains. Uh, feel like, how that video shoot go? Like, it, it went crazy. well. It was, it was yeah, good, like the man. baddest bitches, la creme de la creme. Like, you know. Nah, we had some of my friends who came around and, oh, and supported, oh. you know what I mean? Some girls and who I know within the city, man. I appreciate each and oh, every okay. one of them for coming I down. I thought two chains, he told me he picked a couple bitches. Two chains ain't picked no <laughs> bitches, man. Nah. <laughs> two chains, nah. Two chains came and showed up and did his thing man yeah. I, I you know I, I me and chain that record even came about because me and chains had always you know just bump into each other and just talk about doing a record and we, he, the last time we did it i was like you know what i think i got a record for you so uh i pulled the win i feel like it out sent it sent it over to he him he knocked it out quick and huh? he knocked it out quick and uh, you know sent it back to me and you know it was a record that i wanted to you know get out urgently you know for the summer and let mm. you know let it vibe for the summer and let people uh feel good to it so i'm I'm actually getting an edit for the video tonight so it should be out soon damn man i'm still, i cannot wait man i yeah. know you don't play with that shit nah, man, man I, I, I love <laughs> i love that part of the job too you know what i'm saying i love putting visuals together and you know what i mean and illustrating your your art through you know what i mean videos as well Kendrick Lamar, I, I you wanted him for your album. Your last question. For yeah, you I was trying to. Uh, I, I seen Kendrick a couple of the times last too. Question. Was talking. Uh, <laughs> you know I me. Mean? I, I respect what Kendrick does, man. Uh, I think he's got a uh, great future ahead of him. You know what I'm saying? As an MC, and um, you know, I thought it would be. You know what? We could make a cool joint. I you mean, know you still could tweak the album. Shit. Yeah, yeah that'd it's be still good. time left. Bonus man. record, you know. Yeah, it's still remix. There's still time left. I could see him on. Feel like if uh, you know that the yeah. remix going hard, like. I was just thinking about if I should do a remix or not, man. I'm not sure yet. I'm he, not a I'm not a big fan yeah. of just remixing any everything. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like I think people do that with every like every record they drop, they just it's remix like, it. It's like and an I think they think it's gonna the promo, yeah, yeah. they think it's gonna make the record grow longer, but it like sometimes it just kills the record. You be like, oh man, it's over <laughs> for this shit. Like I ain't I ain't listening to seventeen niggas rap on this shit, man. It's too much. Anything you want to shout out to the people before your man has a heart attack? Yeah, man. You know, thank you, man, for supporting that. Anybody who listening, man, uh you know, be on the lookout for the albums coming soon. Those was week two. All right, oh, is that gonna be a Christmas album? Is it gonna be? Nah, around? nah, it's coming before Christmas. Oh, so we good then. Yeah, so we're gonna be Christmas. on the lookout, and then I and cannot. Christmas, wait. I want to spend with my kid. Uh, you know, <laughs> I ain't trying to be out here doing no album promo and all that shit, man. Uh, shout out to Smurfs too. We got twenty DVDs to give away. We got some leaks you from Canal Street. Canal Street, the African Mr. Bumbata came in. I need them, man. I'll give me my son watches the bootlegs. He don't know nothing about uh, that yet. Smurfs too. You like, daddy? How you get getting these? movies and it's still in <laughs> you think it's because i'm a rapper man you don't, don't know smurf fat let's keep it going he ain't know it 